So this is uh, some text on top of an image. And uh, some of you may have seen me do this one before. This is, a, this is an important one that people need to know. Uh, I want to turn this text, this edible text, it's just regular text. I want to turn this into a hole or a mask in the image behind it. So I've got this text frame sitting over here, and the text frame is sitting on top of the image, and the image is sitting on top of this black frame uh, back here. And I want to use that text to cut a hole or create a mask in the image. And the way you do that is you select this uh, text frame, and you go to the uh, effects panel, and you set its opacity to zero. That literally makes it go away. Now, by the way, it was blue text or cyan text. doesn't matter what color it is. I just made it blues to make it stand out better. Um, but I've set that whole text frame to zero opacity, so it makes it go away. Then I'm going to, while this is still selected, I'm going to shift click with a selection tool on the image behind it. And I'm going to group those together. Object group or command or control G. So I've set it to opacity, zero. I've grouped it with the, with the image that I want it to cut a hole in. And then I need to turn on the, uh, the make mask feature in InDesign. And you're, you're not going to find a make mask feature inside the menus or inside the panel menus or anything. Uh, but there is a feature called make mask. And that feature is inside the effects panel. It's called Knockout Group. Knockout <laughs> Group is used for various weird, very obscure things. But in this case, what you're going to see is as soon as I turn on Knockout Group, it knocks a, gr knocks a hole in it. It turns it into a mask. Now, it's ah. white and black because you're seeing the white page and the black uh, frame down here. But like if I select this black frame and change this to oh, uh, make it yellow, you'll see the, now you can see that. And if I select this this whole image, this whole group, you can see it. And I move it down here. It's literally making a hole in that uh, in that image. That's making a mask. Let me try it one more. I'm going to ungroup this. As soon as I ungroup it, it, you'll see it. It removes that whole effect. So I'm going to try it this time, not with a text, but a oops, an an image. Now an image is a little bit trickier. Uh, this is an image that has an alpha channel in the background, and I want to knock uh, a hole in my tulips image in the shape of this guy, this this pilot. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Um, there's you can't do it with the image itself. You can only do it with the frame um, in this case. And so to get my frame looking the same, the, the proper size, what I'm going to do is go to the object menu and choose clipping path options. This is really tri trippy, but I'm going to say make a clipping path, which is the, sh the same shape as my alpha channel. Alpha channel is just a fancy way of saying um, transparency. So I'm going to grab my alpha channel and convert it into a clipping path. Then I'm going to select that whole frame, and I'm going to go back to the object menu, clipping path, and I'm going to say convert my clipping path to a frame. It literally goes in there and grabs the clipping path and it turns it into this really complex shape. Now, right? Right. Now, right. So once I have that frame, I don't even need the, the image anymore. I just deleted it with a direct selection tool. Um, mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and color this so we can see it better. Let's make it pink or cyan. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Um, so I now have a frame which is the same shape as the clipping path which is the same shape as the alpha channel, the transparency, right? So I've got my shape. This is actually a frame uh, in InDesign now. And now I'm going to, once again, set it to 0% opacity, uh, shift click on the background image that I want to knock a hole in and group it with a command or control J. And then finally turn on my make transparency, uh, make mask uh, feature, the knockout group. Boom, there it is. There's my hole in here and it's still completely editable i could actually go in here and select this and move it around it's an editable hole and you inside. can edit the frame too right you can edit the frame with the direct select feature. i could i could even go in here and select this right you can see all the little points here and i can points. oops zoom in here so i can see what i'm doing i could go in here and uh change oh. this is a very big head big head right. pilot you get the idea <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that is very cool now it's an alien. All right, so <laughs> there is a way to make masks in InDesign.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.